Hey fellas, welcome to They Are Here, an alien abduction horror game. I've been waiting decades for a good UFO horror game, and it looks like we might have it. So, why is this all the way down? Oh, uh, everything seems okay. So, new game. Oh, this is so cool. Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm. On the night of August 7th, the Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speeds over the cornfield. The lights moved in random directions and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. This strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him, and bit him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate decep deliberate deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself or a sensation about an alien invasion, bars. Journalist Taylor what happened to the music? Oh, it looped, but just really poorly. Journalist Taylor Fox, whoa, the video looped poorly, travels to Grayswood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Sweet, so we're Taylor Fox. Man, I've been waiting for aliens my whole life. We're gonna get to the... Damn, this game looks great. We're from One News. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. Damn. This game looks amazing. We need glasses though, that's for sure. Sherman House. Oh. <clears throat> This is great material for a news report. I'll take that. Oh, shit, I thought that was a UFO. Man, this really does look good. Oh my gosh. This game looks great. Is that a spider web? No, that's too much. That's too much. Knock, knock. Farmer's note. Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My mu my wife. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful, Peter Sherman. Cool, okay. Inspect the house. So, uh, I don't know, I, I have like a strange deja vu. This game was definitely made with the horror engine on Unreal. Phone not working. That means we can expect jump scares, we can expect um, staring at thing triggers and stuff like that. Just getting you ready for that. In the photo, members of the Sherman family. Cool. Ow. That's a beautiful nuclear family. They left milk out. Mystery sky object here in Arono. <laughs> By Ed Matheson. I'm sick. I can actually read this whole newspaper. Uh, yeah, this is a real ass newspaper, isn't it? Oh my god. I began probing UFOs in 1966. I wish I could turn this and actually read it. Uh, just before the Michigan lap flags that helped bring us to 
bring to fame the Lane J. Oh, the late J. Allen Hynek. Hynek, then prime skeptic for Project Blue Book, the U.S. Air Force's UFO in Vegetation Unit. Investigation Unit. <laughs> All right. You know, it's there. If you want to pause it and read it, I already know all about UFOs because I... You just trust me. I'm a UFO whiz. That's a terrible place to put a fridge. And uh, this is not a very welcoming house either. Photo. Members of the Sherman family. Pretty much anything that you interrogate in a horror engine game can be a trigger. So, like, picking this up might cause something to happen. Who knows? It's a cute puppy. For example, like, staring right here for too long might trigger something. I used it for a bit. Oh, great. Shit's definitely gonna pop off in there, so let's... Let's look in here. No, I don't like it already. This is fucked up, guys. This is an Aliens game. Like, an actually good one. So far. A photo member of the Sherman family. Dude, I really don't like this. I actually hate it. I hate it a lot. I'm freaking out. Child's drawing. See? See? The trigger. This triggered something. It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The paper is painted on both sides. Aww. The, the, the alien killed the dog. Okay, good. <laughs> this is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Wait, anything on the back? No. Man. That's a Lego police officer. Shoutouts to Lego Dad 69 Funniest guy ever. Walkie-talkie. Apparently it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear very strange sounds. Property of Megan. Dude, it's just... This, like, looking into this is just a little bit too coincidental. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a little bit too coincidental. <sighs> okay. gotta be kidding me this is not they want me to do this oh man you guys went fucking crazy dude gray alien I don't want to look at any of these. This is... This is fucking terrifying. Photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Yeah, I'll fucking say. That's not an alien. <laughs> I mean, it's alien, but it's not an alien. And it's weird, there's like something burned into the background. Like it didn't really develop correctly. I want to know if the person who made this game actually uh, owns these images or if he just took them from the internet. Farmer Children's Diary. Sticker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. 
Uh, today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity. Everything around me became blindingly bright, and I seemed to lose consciousness. I remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes. I was placed on the table as if I was welded to it. They were standing over me. It seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically, then one of them came over and did something to my head. I don't remember anything else. I woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home. My head was buzzing and I walked home as if in a delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts on my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. That's a, that's a branding. They branded you, buddy. You're, you're fucked, and so am I, I think. Yeah. Fuck off, aliens. Yeah, that's the sound horror engine makes when a bull blows up. I'm not fucking moving, you're crazy. This is stupid. I'll stay here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't do that. I'm staying here until morning. We're in a pretty bad spot here. Oh man, there's handprints on the screen. I've learned a lot about these things. They are called the Greys. These are not... I don't like it. I actually hate it. Probably fine. Let's finish reading this. Um, ba -ba -ba. These are not little green men, but big, creepy, and dangerous creatures. Basically, they can be described in the following way. A large head, disproportionate to the body, no hair, bottomless black eyes, gray skin, long thin limbs. Their voices are like nothing else. These aliens are very aggressive towards people. It all starts with bright lights in the sky near home, which move along a certain way. Then, people start to have a nosebleed, have severe headaches, and a buzz in their ears, and animals start raging. Next, people start to have memory lapses. When they come back to normal, they find themselves in unexpected places. For example, in the middle of a field or on a road, a few kilometers away from home. Some of them have flashbacks of terrible memories. People remember terrifying experiences. The aliens establish control over their minds and this has affected their psyche. Also, they found the marks on the body, incisions to be exact. During palpation, it felt like it felt like something thick, like a foreign object moving under the skin. Damn. And that's what the fuck we have to deal with, so Whoa, whoa, whoa. Walking into this pizza box is a... <laughs> problem. Dude! It's in here! It's in the fucking house! Oh, man. Alright. Fuck it. Let's deal with it. Let's get it over with. Let's get this shit over with. Yeah. It 
They were here. Dude, there isn't, there's never been a horror game where something didn't happen in the fucking bathroom, okay? Oh, they had the nosebleed. <gasps> in the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant. Maybe take it? Fuck yeah. As a child, headaches begin to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctor dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is simple. Abduction. I only remembered the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then behind the ear were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. You know? Oh, you see? You see? It made me turn to it. It made me do that. Alright, so... This wouldn't be a horror engine game if there wasn't a VHS tape we could find or play. So, that's going to happen. Um, photo of dead animals. <laughs> Thank you for keeping these and putting them in the living room. Fuck, man. What, am I supposed to just kind of listen to whatever's going on on the TV? It says who, dude? Who would do this? I don't care if you're the number one news anchor dude, weatherman. Oh, what was that? Oh, it's a tree. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, yeah, there's your VHS. Dude, no. I don't fucking care about this movie right now. I really don't. Yeah, she gets out of her little Corolla. That's fine. VHS. Cool. Yeah. Alright. Um, so I think that's all we needed. We're fucking leaving, dude. Eee! Dude, come on, man. Come on. Just think about it. Just... If there was ever a time to do anything, it's right now. You see? E? Can I call yet? No. Fuck. Damn. Why is that even there? There's nothing around for it to protect. All right. No funny business. Oh. Oh. That was really cool. 
How do I, uh... Can I take a picture of that? I don't know how. <laughs> Dude... Oh! Okay, alright. That's it. It's over. Oh, we run. We run to vehicle. <laughs> Please let me in the vehicle. Yeah, this is gonna work. So short. Oh my god. This game is so cool. Let's get out. <laughs> Fucking punched me. This is a demo? <laughs> ah, demo. In the full game, you will find the large territory of Grayswood Farm and a full story of an alien abduction. Add the game to your wish list so you don't miss a discounted release. Oh, cool. I don't want to quit game. I just wanted to go to the menu. You jerks. Uh, apparently this is demo version 1.6, so... I don't know, we'll see. But yeah, this this was a great game. Great demo. It's, uh, you know, aliens. And I like them. So, yeah, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. And whatever this means. Oh my god, that's a lot of... That's a lot of crediting. Oh dear scare dot wave. Bleach trailer sound alike dot wave. <laughs> I don't know. There's just something kind of funny about this. Alright, yeah. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.